With the introduction of all these different on-demand services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and all these different things, and like new social media like TikTok and all that, the world, the landscape is just all changing. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a few reasons why we are so impatient. Also, let's make this a bit of a challenge. Let's see if your patience can outlast the length of this video. A huge reason why we are losing our patience is because we are conditioned to get our results right now. I remember when I was eight years old, I'd come home from school, I'd quickly grab something to eat, and then I'd sit in front of the TV and watch ABC3 Kids, where we had all these different types of kids shows going on, and whatever was on the TV, I had to watch it, whether I liked it or not. Now it's completely different. There's thousands of options everywhere. We've got so many different things to choose from, like everywhere. Sorry, I got a, got a little bit carried away. <laughs> But essentially, I can choose what I want to watch whenever I want to watch it. And it's very likely that you pretty much can too. Oh, also as well, you don't need to go to a library, search through the catalog, find the author, and then go to the particular section, scroll for that person's name in alphabetical order, and then pick the book, and then do your research for your research paper like that. We don't have to do that. You have this thing called Google on your phone that you can pretty much search up anything and you get on-demand information right then and there. Like we are not used to putting in the time Time, energy and effort to get particular results and then only get them at a certain time in the future. We, we are so used to getting things immediately whenever we want it. All these things may not necessarily seem like a really big deal, but you gotta think about the type of effect that it's having on your mind. You are literally communicating to yourself. You can get whatever you want, whenever you want it. And when you apply that narrative to other areas of your life, you can very easily become frustrated and impatient. I want a promotion and I want that promotion right now. How long have you worked at the company for? I want to get better grades. How much time have you actually spent studying? I want to find someone who's like this, this, and this. How long have you spent building up the character that you are today to deserve someone like that? We have to pay really close attention to our expectations. We should categorize them into ones that are valid and ones that are invalid. And the invalid ones, we need to change. We need to change them and like re-script our thinking to something that's a little bit more realistic. Another reason why we get impatient is because we look for gains in the short term and not the long term. We give ourselves inaccurate timelines. The truth is, with a lot of things, it takes time and patience. Just like how we are subconsciously convincing ourselves that we can get whatever we want when we want it, we can also struggle to determine how long we should be waiting in order to get a particular result. You don't just get better grades overnight or in a couple of weeks. Sometimes it can take a few months. Sometimes it could take even a couple of years, depending on how far behind you are. And also the type of effort that you're gonna put in. You think that if you put X amount of effort in the short term or X amount of effort now, then you're definitely gonna get this at X amount of time in the short term. And the reality is that sometimes that timeline is actually a lot longer than we actually expect. So a way to deal with this is that instead of expecting things in the short term, think about, you know, on average, how long does it take for a person to actually get in a promotion? Or how many job applications do you need to do in order to actually to like finally get a job offer or like finally get an interview offer? Right? Like how many uploads do you need to make in order to get a thousand subs on YouTube? Right, like you need to think about you know how long, how much, um, how many times you need to do something in order to get a particular result. Use the internet in that sense, like use books in that sense, like use what the average is to determine what's a realistic expectation that you should have with regards to timelines. There's nothing wrong with putting a longer horizon on your timeline. In fact, one of the best things that you could do is like overestimate how long it would take you to do something and be really surprised when you surpass that expectation. That's a really nice feeling actually. And one other thing that contributes to our impatience is that people do better than us. We get impatient when we see other people like our friends and our colleagues do better than us. They get in a promotion or you know they graduate earlier than us and start earning money. Like we get really, really, really frustrated and impatient because we think, oh, you know what? Why aren't we succeeding like them yet? Or when is it my turn? All right, when will I get my chance? You know, when will this person give me my shot? You know, like when, when will all these things happen for me? right? Because it's happened for this other person, right? So when's it my turn? This is a very like natural experience to have. I think the only way to really come to terms with this is to see how far you've come and like how, how much you've grown and how much you've changed. The moment you look at someone else's life, you're comparing two different timelines and then you're turning your life into a rat race and that triggers frustration and it triggers impatience. Theodore Roosevelt said it best. 
Comparison is the thief of joy. I know patience for me is something that I've had to learn the hard way. Like it's taken me a number of years to learn a few things and that's only really come about with patience. In fact, it's amazing just how much mature you become when you make patience a virtue that you strive to acquire within yourself. I truly believe that it's something that has contributed greatly to my character, my success and my satisfaction with life. And I hope from this video that you develop further patience within you. And if you've made it to the end, congratulations. As always, like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.